Good morning, happy Thursday guys. So if you're wondering about what's happening in the background, let's focus that. Uh, that is just all my bags ready for St Andrews there. Um, we're just doing a little bit of a check so we can fit everything in the car and then hopefully I'll be good to go. So as you know, I've mentioned it quite a few times throughout all my videos that I've just graduated from Portsmouth University this last July. And now that I've graduated, I wanted to speak about my thoughts and feelings about my experience there at the university. I'm going to proc on it, but I just want to say that my experience was personal to me, and so you might not have the same experience there. This is just my personal opinion. And also, it's probably a really good idea to know about whether this is going to be the only degree you want to do, or do anything after. This is because I believe that an undergraduate degree is meant to be three things. Studying and learning what you want to know. Finding out who you are. Finding out what you like doing finding out what you don't like doing, meeting the kind of people that you'll get on with and meeting the kind of people that you won't get on with, and the general social side of things. And thirdly, just having some fun because university is a really unique experience. You won't get the kind of opportunities that will be handed to you at university than anywhere else. However, that philosophy may not hold true if you're deciding that you want to do just this degree and you want to get into a competitive field. For example, if you just want to do this undergraduate degree and then going into a really competitive market where you need to be highly qualified, perhaps you'd really focusing and prioritise studying a little bit more. But I do believe that an undergraduate degree is meant to be as important for your personal development as it is for your career path. But if you are specifically looking to go and do physics with astrophysics and cosmology, or I think it's called physics with astronomy now at the Portsmouth University, I can personally vouch that it's a fantastic course. You should absolutely go for it. And this is because A, they've got really strong links with the Institute of Physics, which is a really great institute that projects you down a career path and really lets you go into the science communication side of things. And also the fact that the course is mainly ran through the Institute of Cosmology and Gravitation in the Dennis Sharma building. What that means is that a lot of the lecturers that will be teaching you will be going through that institute. And that can actually mean that you won't get any of the strikes. Throughout my entire time at university, there were never any teacher strikes. And everyone I knew that were at the university all had teacher strikes throughout the year. We didn't have that problem. It was fantastic. So let's hope that continues and they don't go on strike yet. So with all of those ideas in mind, I think that Portsmouth University is a great university. So let's start at the beginning. Here are the pros. Number one, it scores well in student satisfaction and job prospects. These are the main two factors when picking a university and you don't know anything about it yet. These metrics tell you how good a time the students currently there are having and also how easy it is to get a job afterwards. So Portsmouth has a gold TEF ranking, which means it is a fantastic university in terms of teaching. And it scores 79% on student satisfaction. And that is according to uniguide.com, which I'll link below. And on the same site, it says that 98% of students are either in higher education or in work post-graduation and that ranks it number one in the southeast and the top 10% nationally. Number two, the facilities and guest speakers. I can personally vouch for the fact that the facilities there are absolutely excellent. On the fourth floor of the Burdick building is where our lab was which means that every day was leg day and for my course specifically they had really close relations with the Clanfield Observatory and the South Downs Planetarium which was really really cool. And also whichever degree you do you'll probably have a module in first year called grad skills or for us it was called space science and applications and that just means they'll have loads of guest speakers in and they'll talk about different career paths and higher education and what they do and that's just a really useful module. You'll learn a lot about what you want to do after your degree in that module. Number three, night and social life. The city itself is actually quite a small city. It takes about 10 minutes to get from A to B wherever you're going. That's shops, lectures, home, pubs and clubs. And if clubbing is your thing, you've got Pop World on Guildhall War, Prism that's just down the road, and you've got Mr. Miyagi's on White Swan Road and a whole bunch of other clubs, but those are the big three. But equally, if you prefer pubs and just want to go down the pubs with your mates, just like me, then there's three Weatherspoons throughout the city and there's a really wide variety of pubs on Guildhall Walk, Palmerston Road, spread throughout the city, on Elm Grove as well. I really recommend Meat and Barrel on Palmerston Road and Jags 119 on Elm Grove, those are really, really great pubs. The Ags 119 has a music night every Friday as well where they invite bands in and every Friday, oh my god, the sounds that we were coming from there were amazing. Number four, costs. Portsmouth is a really cheap city to live in. Rent was anywhere between four and five hundred pounds a month and that's including bills. It's full of students just like you and so there'll be loads of people to get on with. Number five, things to do. You will never run out of things to do in Portsmouth. There's so many things there. The Spinnaker Tower, Gumoff Keys, which is the high-end shopping district, an aquarium, the seafront itself, which is really beautiful at all times of the year. And like I said earlier, it's full of pubs. So many places that you can try out. And number six, societies and uni life in general. There are so many societies there. In my first year, I think I did boxing and poker. And then in my second and third years, I did a wargaming society. Sorry, it suddenly got really sunny. Let me like try and adjust this. Okay, that's better. It's a really warm and friendly environment. You'll find loads of people just like you. It's really easy to get along with everyone there. And so if you already have a hobby or want to find new ones, that's a really great place to start. Now let's go into the 
cons. As a small caveat to what I was saying at the beginning, don't get me wrong, the teaching there is fantastic, but there were times in each year where something would just go wrong, either with administration or the teaching. For example, in my second year, one of the members of staff just left halfway through the year near Christmas. And so as a consequence, we all suffered in that module. And in the final few weeks, we had to learn everything just before, like weeks before the exam. And we didn't get any compensation for that. I would say that that's had a really big impact on my knowledge on that subject specifically. But I can just go away and learn all that. We still have all of those resources available to us. And so while it was a really big inconvenience at the time, it's been quite easy to remedy. But I do still want to stress, it's a fantastic university. And I think those kind of issues, they'll happen wherever you go. Number two, the accommodation in first year. As is with the university, you'll love the student accommodation in the first few months, but then it will really become a drag. You may not get on with the people that you live with, and you might be stuck with people that are learning for the first time about things like hygiene and cleanliness. I'm not gonna go there. And they can be really loud, and it's quite easy for people to form like clicks really, really quickly. Luckily, that is just for first year. Number three, the locals. I found that the locals are a lot like mama. You either really get on with them or you just kind of don't. I personally really got on with everyone I met. It was really, really fun. It was all really close knit. All the locals were really, really lovely and they would help you out whenever. But I know that if you're not really used to living in a city, that can be quite intimidating going for the first time. And I do just want to say when you're out at night, I wouldn't say it's a dangerous place, but it's probably a good idea to remain cautious at all times and move around in the pairs. <laughs> And finally number four, the academic standards. So the teaching quality is really great. You will learn everything you need to know if you turn up to the lectures and do the required studying. It's actually quite easy to keep up with. It's designed to be that way. However, I do feel that I need to mention that quite a lot of students use Chegg.com. And if you don't know what Chegg.com is, it's basically a monthly subscription service where you'll upload your coursework or problem sheets to and people on the internet, usually people that are quite high up in the field, they'll answer your questions and just do the coursework and do all the work for you. This goes against good academic practice and it results in students not really knowing the content and failing more exams and actually allowing students to pass up to points where they really shouldn't be. I wouldn't say that's a form of elitism, it's just that you need to know the required knowledge and if someone else is doing the work for you, you won't know. I personally don't recommend using that kind of service or any service like it because not only does it not help your understanding on any level, also, if you're caught by the university, you'll face disciplinary action and that can result in expulsion. And now, while I recognise that that sort of thing is quite difficult to police at Portsmouth, to be honest, I think more should have been done to police that kind of thing. This made me feel like my work wasn't as valued because I worked really quite hard for my 2-1 and there were lots of people that didn't do much work at all and they came out with first class degrees. And they won't know the requisite knowledge when they go and get hired by a company and that worries me and, to be honest, I think more should have been done for it. Okay, that's my pro-con list. I hope you found that really, really useful. Please drop a like if you liked it or comment below on anything that I missed. Also, if you're looking for things like student everyday carry or things to bring to university, I've done two videos on that as well. So I recommend that you check those two videos out. Please drop a like and share this video. Comment below and tell me anything that I might have missed or what you think. And subscribe if that's something that you're into. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.